The Insurance Brokers Association of Ghana is making a strong case for government to reconsider the passage of the compulsory group life insurance policy. The policy, which was excluded from the new insurance bill prior to its passage, sought to mandate employers to take insurance cover for the employees, a move expected to cushion employees in the likelihood of unpredictable circumstances at the workplace. Speaking at the 10th Insurers Brokers Association of Ghana investiture organized here in Accra, the newly sworn in president said the passage of the mandatory insurance products could go a long way to boost the sector's contribution to the economy. We remember with regret how the compulsory group life insurance policy got removed from the new insurance law Act 1061 in the last minute. How and when this happened, no one knows. The effect of this bad decision does not only affect the penetration we seek, but has denied Ghanaians a very great opportunity at alleviating poverty by ensuring that the death and critical illness of the average Ghanaian worker does not end the hope of the family that feeds on him. We missed this opportunity probably because we didn't have a strong lobbying body to drum home this social effect of the group life policy. Our neighbors in Nigeria have been practicing this for about a decade now and both industry and the clients have benefited positively from it. Let me seize this opportunity to appeal to the Minister of Finance through his representative here to take a second look at this group life issue and if possible, get an early amendment of the Insurance Act to include that. We at IBAC have an existing lobbying body which we shall keep. However, we are ready to be part of a joint lobbying body with the GIA and the CIG which will be adequately resourced to further the interests of the industry.